Welcome to An American Accent, and we're going to be looking today at how to use schwa, the relaxed vowel, together with a color vowel chart. So English has about 15 vowel sounds, and they are described as colors in the color vowel chart. Uh, that was created by Karen Taylor and Shirley Thompson. And the logic of the whole thing is that for each color, you have the vowel sound in it. Look at the left, green. We call E green because it has the vowel E in it. Blue has U in it. Wood has U. Mustard has Olive has aw. And the arrangement of the colors are with a thought of looking at the speech organ, the mouth, and where the tongue position is in comparison to the roof of the mouth, the back of the mouth, the teeth, how high or how low. So for example, green is very high and very much to the front, just behind the top front teeth. While blue is also high, but is very far back. Mustard is a relaxed vowel, which is just kind of floating in the middle of your mouth with very loose, very relaxed uh, muscles in the face, in the lips in the tongue uh, and it's our resting sound you could call it uh. now if i want to make red my tongue is going to be further to the front but kind of in the middle as far as up and down it's more in the middle but front if i want to make brown my tongue is going to be further back and it's also going to be changing uh, or moving, you could say, ow. So some of these vowels are changing or moving vowels called diphthongs. First, I'm gonna go over relatively quickly the 15 vowel sounds according to the color vowel chart. And then we're gonna look at how that interacts in almost every single word in English with schwa, and I will be explaining what schwa is. Essentially, it's a short version of mustard, that relaxed uh sound, very short. If you think about teacher, it ends with ER. Doctor, OR, but they both sound the same. ER and OR, teacher, doctor, it's just a uh. So repeat after me, green, E, silver, I, white, I, gray, A, red, E, black, A, olive, A. And you really need to use your jaw going down ah in order to make that sound mustard is in the middle uh purple is high up in the middle er and your tongue is kind of uh scooped up like a spoon but held still er it's always together with an r and it can be spelled in many different ways you have it with an i as in bird and girl you have it in EA as with learn. You have it with O as in word, world, and work. That's a very common mistake to say work instead of work. And notice how I'm rounding my lips when I say that. If you get your tongue further back, still high, you get the blue. Ooh. Uh, look at my lips. It's not ooh, but ooh. Kind of like if you sip 
uh, some water or a drink with a straw like this. Now, wood is pretty similar, but it's short. It's quick. And the tongue is just a little bit more relaxed, a little bit lower. Wood, as in took. Rose starts with uh and then goes to w. Oh. Orange is usually O plus an R, or like orange door. Some people might say orange, but I think most people say door. So it depends a little bit on your accent there. Turquoise has the sound oi in it, and brown has the sound ow. So that's a kind of a quick review. Now let's get to the schwa sound. It's usually marked by an upside down E and I made it kind of mustard colored because it's like a very short mustard. In fact, the A in mustard is a schwa. Mustard. Erd, uh. All right, so if you compare these vowels uh, and they are colored red here, now, if they're underlined, they're stressed. If they're not, they're not stressed, as in land, that's stressed. But England, the E is stressed. So let's look at how this works. So land is a kind of black sound, but England has a stress on ing, which is silver, and land becomes lund, just a schwa instead. England. Stage is gray and it's stressed. Now if you take the word hostage, the stress is on hostage, which uh, then makes the A no longer gray, but just schwa -ij. Hostage. Band is black but in the word husband, hus, which is mustard, is the stressed part, and band becomes bund, husband. Fast, black, ah, but in the word breakfast, breck is red and stressed, but fast now is unstressed and becomes fast, breakfast. And think of the word ban, black. Now in the word urban, herb is purple, the stressed part, and ban becomes bun, urban. Here are some other examples. Face is gray, but in the word surface, the stress is on er, purple, and face becomes fuss surface. Stance is another black word and when it's not stressed as in distance, dis is silver, stance is just schwa there, distance. Cord is orange but in the word record the stress is on re which is actually red and cord becomes curd. Pro, like a professional or pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, is rose. But if it's a prefix in a word like produce, and the stress is then on deuce, which is blue, pro becomes pr, produce. And then we have ball, which is olive. But in the word balloon, the stress is on loon, which is blue, and ball becomes bl balloon. So let's look at how this may work in a word. It's usually two or more syllables. Now, a word like Africa will be very tempting to pronounce more like Africa because that's usually how it's pronounced in other languages. But the first A has the stress and it's black. Ah. 
Now the I and the A, even though I and A are very different kind of letters, both are pronounced schwa. Africa. 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 Now the word capital is also black, meaning that the stressed vowel is black, but the I and the A here are also schwa. Capital. 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 Relative has a stress on the E, the first syllable, which is red. Relative. But the A and the I here are also schwa. So relative. Relative. The word develop has a stress on the second E, the middle syllable, and that one is red. But the first E is just a schwa, devel, and then the OP is up, also a schwa, develop. And then we have a two syllable word like bottom. And in American English, that's usually pronounced as olive with the stress on ba. But then Tom, which would be a name normally, becomes Tum here, bottom or bottom. Now we have a few more. So the stressed vowel is always a color. Action. Most unstressed vowels, not all, but most of them become a schwa. Action. So shun is always a schwa there. Doctor, which I mentioned before. Doc is olive, but the OR is just schwa, doctor. Same thing with teacher, as I mentioned. Now, if you have the word coordinate as a noun, only ord has a stress and a color and is orange. Well, actually co has a little bit of a secondary stress and it's rose, coordinate. Now as a verb, it's actually pronounced coordinate, coordinate. And the last part is no longer a schwa, nut, but nate. So actually that's the difference between a noun and a verb for that word. And the last one is service. The stressed part is purple, but the I here is just a schwa, service. And there are also some very common words that are usually reduced to a schwa. So for example, are, if it's stressed, like, are you here? Then it's pronounced like you normally learn to say it. But if it's unstressed and sort of in the middle between other words, it's er. The roads are fine. You, when it's not stressed, is ya, yeah, like see ya. And here, how are you doing? Your does the same thing. Your. How's your dad? And then we have two, when it's a number, T-O, I'm sorry, T-W-O, or if it means also T-O-O, -O, those are always pronounced two. But as a preposition, and as prepositions are usually not stressed, it's just T. And that's a dead giveaway. If somebody says to school or to work, we hear that it's not an American or not a native speaker. It would be T. I'm going to the bank. From usually becomes from. And it's from four to five. It's from four to five. And the word for also becomes fur when it's not stressed, which is most of the time. So you go to a fast food restaurant and they're going to ask you for here or to go. 
Now, so when you have many syllables, you need to make sure you know what the primary stress is, like in the word psychological. I see that I put the stress here in the wrong place. It should be on the second O, psychological. And that's olive. Psi has a secondary stress, and that should be white. The other ones are just schwa. And then we have analysis, black, everything else is a schwa, analysis, analysis. Notice here too how with the moving syllable stress, it may become a little different, like biography has a stress on a, and the rest is schwa, except for the y at the end of a word, that's green. IE at the word or IES would also be green. Biography. But in biographical, which is the adjective, it changes to become the A that's stressed. And now the A is no longer a schwa, but it is black, biographical. Abnormal is orange but abnormality is black. And if you don't quite know how to say a word, you can pretty much guess that everything is a schwa unless it ends with a Y or an IE or unless it's stressed. Ignore is also orange. Ignorance I is silver, but now nor is no longer orange, it's just nur, ignorance. Courage is purple, and cur is purple, and then idge, courage. Now, if you say courageous, which is an adjective, the A now is no longer schwa, but gray, courageous. The word inflamed is gray because the stressed syllable has the vowel a gray in it the rest it's actually just the i is a schwa but if you look at the longer word inflammation now the a is still gray but everything else is a schwa inflammation inflammation and lastly refer fur is purple and the RE is just r, r, refer, but it changes in reference where the first E is no longer a schwa because it's stressed and it has the red vowel, e, and everything else is a schwa, reference. So remember, know your syllable stress, and that's especially important in longer words, and that's syllable stress, the stressed vowel, you need to know what that vowel sound is. In this case, it's gray. And then take a guess that most other vowels are schwa, which is just a very strange word for a. Uh. For example, pronunciation. A is gray and the rest schwa or a. Uh. I hope that helps. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.